Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Today we're gonna to be doing this E46 330i sedan. We're gonna be doing new audio, customer brought everything to us that it had a factory Eon head unit in it. I kind of show you the speakers right there because I'm doing this afterwards, but factory Eon head unit, but those are the speakers that we took out of this since I'm filming this afterwards. Those are the nasty speakers that we took out of this bad boy, like no surrounds, coils are coming out. So we're gonna be replacing front door speakers, rear deck speakers, and adding a sub and amp. So all that's gonna be going into here so that we can, you know, basically get his sound better. It has no sound at all. Before we took the speakers out, it was terrible. Sound like scratchy cats. And now we see why. So this is what we're gonna be working on today. Here's the unit that he has in the C46. It's an Eon aftermarket unit. All of his speakers are somewhat plain, but they sound blown. Jimmy is taking out the rear speakers, which appear to have, oh my God, they have no surround at all. Oh, I thought you meant like a little no surround. <laughs> Yeah, so these are the rear speakers, what's left of them. So we're gonna replace them and use this 829303 rear adapter plate. Used to have to make these back in the day, but thank God somebody started making these. So now we can put the speakers in here and replace these lovely things. Okay, we're gonna do these E46. This is a sedan, not a coupe. So there's a big difference. So you pull that trim off, just like Jimmy did right there. And then there's two screws, one, two screw up there. Now the big difference between these doors is you're also gonna have one down here, down here, and then behind this little guy right here, you're gonna pop that out and there's another one in there. Now on the coupe doors, there's actually a little tab right here that pops out and there's another one hidden behind here. But this is a sedan door, so it's a little bit different. But those are all the screws that you're gonna have to take out to be able to pop that door panel off. And then whenever you take the door panel off, you go over to here this is the uh, passenger one taken off you just basically disconnect this by pulling this backwards and this all pops off with clips so it doesn't push up or anything like that a lot of these clips look like they've been replaced these door panels have probably been off a few times but that's what the back side of the door panel looks like as well and these speakers we're going to show you how to replace those they unbolt from here and then you bolt them back to the door panel one of the only cars that really bmw is the only one that does this instead of bolting to the actual door it bolts to the door panel here's the stock front door panel same thing speakers are completely deteriorated all the way around it's craziness i'm gonna take this radio out um, start with pulling this piece off take your 
panel tool, pop that off. This one's gonna pop off. And there'll be two screws behind here. This is an aftermarket like Eon head unit. We're gonna pull this out, look at the wiring behind here, make sure everything is all good. And that way we can run some RCAs behind it as well. Eon head unit, we took out one screw, two screw, three screw, four screw. These are the screws right here, putting them down in here. I think I'm gonna have to pull this part right here out because it's kind of like, yeah, now it's finally coming out, but it's like part of it's connected up into here. So I'm gonna have to probably remove this vent, pull it out and pull this piece out right here. Jimmy <laughs> took all this rear panel off right here. And there is the factory amplifier. That's what we need for all of our sounds. We're gonna match up our speaker wire colors with this back here. So that way we can just bypass this bad boy. Here's these magnificent front speakers. Yeah, boy, look at that. Woo, it's even popping out of there. Look at that. It's like pop, lock, and drop it with front speakers. And these are the front speakers. Lovely things they are. We're gonna use the 82-9303 adapters for the front door panels as well, because they are rough. These are the new Audio Dynamics coaxials we're gonna be using in the front. These are the 2000 series. We have it mounted so that this piece will basically go like this. Oh, I got it backwards. So this will slide down into here like so, and then it'll just bolt in just like stock. So it'll bolt into the stock locations. So you got three holes here, works out really nice. Driver's side rear is gonna be your yellow with brown when we do the amplifier bypass. Passenger side rear is gonna be blue with brown and it's larger gauge, so it's thicker gauge, not thinner gauge for the amplifier bypass. This is the driver's side front door. It's gonna be blue with white stripe and blue with brown stripe. That's the front driver speaker. Passenger side woofer color is going to be blue with brown and blue with red. And this is a larger gauge. So just remember that on the woofer wire, it's a little larger gauge, not thinner gauge. So those are gonna be the passenger side front colors right here. All right, we got our front speakers mounted. Got these pieces put back on. Everything's in there. We're gonna bolt those back up to the doors. There's that. Okay, so our factory amplifier is back here. Take this piece down. Here's our harness, and that's gonna show you exactly what speaker wires. So you're gonna match up from the fronts what you're gonna use on the backs of here. That way, there's a lot of wires in here, so you wanna make sure these ones that are braided are, the, are your speaker wires. You wanna make sure that the collars match up to exactly what you used in the front. That's why you always wanna make sure that when you take your speakers out, you keep your collar codes so that you don't, you know, it'll be really hard to sit here and, and pop every single speaker to figure out which one goes to what. That's why I keep track of everything. So if you look on here, these are the thicker wires. These are gonna be your two rears, your yellow with brown and your, bl your brown with blue. Those are gonna be your rears right there, rears right here. Your fronts are gonna be your white with blue and blue with brown and your blue with red and your blue with brown. So these are your fronts and these are your rears. Now, if you wanna do all the tweeters and all that, you're gonna have to use all those little small wires, but this is your main ones in case you wanna run a component set or a coaxial set.